I thought I'd do a little recording to show how it works. So here I created or recreated the workflow. Uh, first thing to notice is that the event is no longer a trigger because you're starting the workflow explicitly using Postman or as I'm going to do using the play button here. So you want to ensure this one is not checked because you're not using it as a trigger, but as a blocking activity. All right, so now um, let's see. I configured this one to be my event. So this is the name of the event. I will start the workflow. So now it has started. Notice it's blocking on this event. So it's waiting for event called my event to be triggered. And for that, we will use Postman. So I'm switching to Postman. I prepared this uh, Postman request. So it's going to do a post on the event resource using the event that I entered called my event, and I'm going to trigger it. And then when I hit send, then it compl successfully completed the request. And when I switch back, it will have resumed the workflow. So what I will do, I will share this video and uh, uh, this particular Postman request.